have reaction this afternoon to our report last night that Mayor Rahm Emanuel has decided to enroll his children in Hyde Park's University of Chicago lab schools rather than his own neighborhood public schools. Our chief correspondent Jay Levine revealed the mayor's decision last night and he's here with new details. Jay. Rob and Kate, the uh, University of Chicago lab schools are among the most respected, exclusive and expensive in the city. It's kind of the same argument with charter schools. Mm -hmm. make, ch make public schools better and $5,000 a year for three kids. Sure. All right. Thanks, Jay. Jay. Thanks. Coming up, the change coming to security scanners at some airports. Why it could make it more comfortable the next time you fly. The end of an era came just before dawn this morning. In this heat, it is not just people and animals you have to worry about. Though you might lose your screwdriver. <laughs> Hopefully you not. <laughs> In an effort to help Chicago beat the heat, the CBS2 morning team hit the street at the Ogilvy train station, passing out water. And we found one guy who actually likes the high temperatures. Water. <laughs> so the passengers were delayed, but the bus driver got his water. Mm -hmm. And remember, you can watch the CBS2 morning news every day beginning at 4.30. Water normally not included. Yeah, and that was a minor delay, right? It was yeah. yeah. You want to make sure your bus driver's happy. Well, yeah, not to these levels. But right. But even a little bit of relief will take. Yes. Thank Steve. So what's the holdup? We have some breaking news regarding the red line. Yeah, we're told that the tracks are actually buckling because of the heat. Red line trains will operate on a single track between the Cermak Chinatown and the Sox 35th stations to allow crews time to repair the track. So do allow a little bit extra time if you are taking the red line today. And looking forward to that. Mm. Well, talking sports, most people thought the NFL lockout was going to be over by now. Ryan, is there a holdup? We need Maybe he's it was right. the heat. Point well taken, though. Yeah, that ball club. No. All right. Inconsistent. They are, yeah. indeed. All right. That's the News at 5. CBS Evening News is next. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to join Bill and Walter at 6, and we will all be back here at 10. 10. Good evening, and thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Sullivan. I'm Rob Johnson. From dangerous to deadly, after nearly a week of brutally hot temperatures, tonight the Cook County Medical Examiner is investigating several potential cases of heat-related deaths in our area. Let's go right to CBS. Okay, thank you very much, Steve. Tonight we're being told an elderly man in the Auburn-Gresham neighborhood could be one of the first victims to die from this week's heat wave. CBS 2's Pamela Jones is live at the Cook County Medical Examiner's office with the details. Pam. Two women in their 80s are dead and eight passengers are injured after a car slammed into a metro train near Oak Forest. It happened the car all the way down the tracks with it. Mm. And that car was just a mangled mess, Mike. Uh, thank you for that. Now to our other big story tonight, NFL owners are ready to make a deal. But what about the players? Ryan Baker's here. The lockout could be coming to an end soon, but... Well, in terms of ending that NFL, sure but is. a long way from being over. And this is the proverbial bump in the road. They're going to get it done. It's just a matter of hours or perhaps days. Have more in sports. Okay. A lot of people Bye -bye. cheering. Thank you very much. Well, a new clue tonight and a cold case from DuPage County that happened more than two decades ago. Change is coming to one of those iconic places just about every Chicagoan has seen. The Wrigley Company is moving its global headquarters out of the building named for it. Kristen Hartman learned what that means for that gem on Michigan Avenue. Robin K. Yeah, it is iconic for oh, sure. It's gorgeous. Kristen. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Well, the shuttle program is now a part of history. Well, every Thursday, we are showcasing something you love best about Chicago. Tonight, we're telling the story of Alma Mendoza, who loves to sing and loves to get other people to sing with her. She um, Bravo. Well there it done. Is. That was fun. Yeah, you time. did a great job, and that took a lot of nerve. It did take a little Something nerve. Something tells but me Alma, you've done that before. Oh, I, I have a little bit. <laughs> okay. Alma did ease me into it, so kudos to her. I appreciate it. Excellent. Looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> it was. Well, the excessive heat warning is over now, but the heat wave isn't done just yet. That's right, Steve Basker. Okay, we like the idea of relief. We Thank you very relief, much. <laughs> no doubt. Coming up. We know a deal's going to get done. The question is, is it going to get done in six hours, 12 hours, four days? It didn't happen tonight as the owners would have liked. If you have football fever, soon it's coming, but <laughs> yeah. the fine print. Yes. It's been four months. It's going to take a little yeah, bit of sure. time to get it resolved completely. Let's yeah, understand out. Yes. All right. Thanks, Ryan. Right. Well, Walter is freaking out <laughs> about the seventh inning stretch. We'll tell you all about it in a bit. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Steve. That is it for CBS 2 News at 10. Join us again at 4.30 a.m. for the CBS 2 Morning News. David Letterman's up next with Harrison Ford. I'm Rob Johnson. I'm Kate Sullivan. Thanks for joining us. For Steve Baskerville and Ryan Baker, you have a wonderful evening.